1932, Herbert Hoover was up for re-election. He returned to his home state of Iowa to begin campaigning. But public opinion had turned against him. Crowds, 2,000 strong, picketed the streets. Meanwhile, in the capital, veterans from the First World War had come seeking an advance on a bonus they were due. They marched on Washington, joined by farmers and the ranks of the unemployed. These weren't revolutionaries. They were patriotic Americans. But they'd realized what Hoover had not, that in exceptional circumstances, even rugged individualists needed help. Hoover's response shocked the nation. It's war, the greatest concentration of fighting troops in Washington since 1865, all assembled with a single purpose, to rout the bonus army from government property which they've been occupying without permission. And so they're being forced out of their shacks by smoke bombs and tear gas, hurled by the troops who have been called out by the President of the United States. It's a spectacle unparalleled in the history of the country. In late 1932, the American people removed Herbert Hoover from office. It was time for a new style of government. I mean, we were lucky. I know that. Even when times were at their worst. My wife Louise had a cabbage patch, which was a lifesaver. We swapped cabbages for things that we needed. Some people lost everything. It made us realize how you have to look out for each other sometimes. How you can't always make it on your own. I mean, back when there was money around, we all thought everything was all right with the world, you know? But since the crash, things so unsteady, never knowing when the ax will fall, you see the injustice, the inequality. You, you begin asking yourself, how long is it going to take before those old birds in Washington realize it's government hell or else? How, how long are people supposed to suffer before they understand we're not just throwing a load of old heifer dust around here? As for me, back I can't go. It's too late. Like yesterday, I was standing on the bread line. Was it yesterday? What is it today, Tuesday? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was standing on the bread line and suddenly a cop hollers back up. 200 people on the line. He says to them, back up. So he starts to shove Two minutes, there's a fight. Three broken heads. You know, sometimes you just can't back up no more. 